Let's follow these four steps to complete a couple of problems using the distribute strategy for division. Problem 3. 56 divided by 8. Step 1. Set up the box model with the denominator on the outside. So the box model is a long rectangle with the line up and down dividing through the middle of the box. And we need to put the denominator value, which is the 8, on the outside of the row over here on the box model. How did we set up the box model? To set up the box model, we had to draw a long rectangle, put a line right through the middle of it, and then we took the denominator value 8 and wrote that on the outside of the row. Step 2. Using a multiplication fact you know, place the factor above the box and the product inside below. So we want to put 8 times some value equals the product or the multiplication answer in this multiplication table box model. We want to start thinking about 10 and 5. Well, 8 times 10 would be 80, and you can't take 80 from 56. What about 5? Half of 10 is 5, so half of 80 is 40. I know that 8 times 5 equals 40. I can take 40 from 56. So we're going to go ahead and start this first column by filling in the factor above the column and the product inside the box, 40. How did we use the box model for step two? In step one, we set up the box model by putting the value on the outside, and in step two, we used a multiplication that we knew, such as eight times five equals 40, and put the five factor above the box and the 40 product below inside the box. Step 3. Place the remaining part to divide inside the next box and the factor above to complete the box. So let's do this first part. We need to put the remaining part to divide. So we need to divide 56. So far we have only taken 40 of that 56, which means we have remaining 16. That's 56 minus 40. Together, these two boxes need to add up to your 56. So 16 divided by 8 equals, or you can think of it as 8 times what number will equal 16. 8 times 2 equals 16. Now we have completed the box model. And so we can, how did we use the box model in step number 3? Step number two gave us the information in the first column. Step number three gave us the information in the second column by first finding the remaining part to divide and completing the box model by finding the factor that goes above the remaining part to divide. Step four, find the quotient by adding the two values above the box. So here we just take the five and the two and we add those two values together, and that gives us our final quotient, our answer to 56 divided by 8 equals 7. How did we find the quotient? We found the quotient by adding the two values 5 plus 2, the two values on top of the columns of the box model. You are now ready to follow these four steps to complete problem number four.